This is a static image I just generated by AI. I love it so much. But even though I use it as a reference, I cannot get the same character with same detail, and it's really bothering me. I believe all of you have the same questions. When can we have a consistency of the certain characters, face, or objects? Today, we have a solution. Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at the images I just generated by the latest technique of the Kriya team, Kriya Train, which just released yesterday. With these fabulous tools, we can create the same characters but in a different angle but still keep the same details. And we finally can say, we can do it. We can keep the consistency. And with a different angle of the same character, we can even make animations. And also we can generate more images with this character. Would you like to know how I did it? Today, please allow me to introduce Kriya Chuan. Good evening everybody, this is a big news for Korea world again. Korea team just announced a new version of the model training. And we are the first group of the people who got the early access to the train. So when you watch this video, remember to check if the Korea team released the whole access to everybody. And now let's try the new thing and uh, click here and enter my access code. Unlock Korea train. Wow, we are here, great. So I think the rule is about to upload at least three or more images of the same style, face or object. But if you don't know what is AI models, let me have a brief introduction to you. Okay, so AI model is very important in the AI image generation because we cannot keep the same styles or the same objects or characters in every generation, right? So every time we click the generate button, the result is quite different. Therefore, so if we have a model that already trained with so many same style images or same character images, then the result is controllable. That is why we need to train the AI models about. And sometimes we want certain styles or certain objects. For example, if you are a designer of a vehicle company, let's say, and you want to generate images with certain cars that your company provides, Instead of other brands like the Porsche, like the Tesla, right? You just want vehicles that are produced by your company, right? Therefore, you need to train a model that contains with your products. And every time you click the generate with different prompts, this result contains the same vehicle that you want. That's why we need the models training. So before that, Korea already have an AI model training feature, but that feature compared to what we have now is back so this is the most advanced and I think this will be easy to use so let's try it all we need to do is upload the three or more images of the same style same face or object let's try same style first in order to avoid the copyright issues I upload the images that are just generated by me so no issues okay and these three images have a very good quality of the resolution, but we have a very poor number of the images. And it seems like Korea already gave a name to our new model, which is Nihon Google. Cool. So when we click the settings, we have some parameters we can set. So first, I think this is a kind of the style. And we can set up the training steps. The default is 250. And we have a learning rate and a batch size. Also, trigger word. So in trigger word, let's set up. We just set up the two trigger word, and let's click the train. So when we click the submit button, our model is cooking. All we need to do is wait and check. Okay, now we have our model trained. So we can see the result is from here. 
Well, they are looks very nice and also they are quite similar to the images at the feed. So we can use with Flux. Oh my God. So this time we can generate images with our model. Let's try. Let's click generate. Well, check it out. Compared to the materials that feed to the model training. And I think the result is quite amazing. We have a controllable, same characters. And also we can add some contents that we wanted to perform, like the card with our brand's name, UX Bootcamp. Terrific. And don't forget, we can download it and enhance it to up to 4K. And we can even use it to generate a video by Korea Video. Well, this is amazing. We can do anything. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention. When you down train your AI model, you can choose whether to keep it private or publish to the community so that everyone else can use your model. And now it says public. And if you want to delete your model, just click the red trash bin icon here. Or if you want to retrain this model, you can click the reuse the data set and click again or add more images. Isn't that very easy to use? So don't forget to check out the Korea model training and fulfill the information to get the early access. But if you don't, please stay tuned because I think Korea team will open it to public really soon. I will see you on the next one. Bye bye. Congratulations, you finished this episode. And don't forget to subscribe us and please click the like button. Also, leave all your questions inside of our comment zone. I will see you on the next episode. Bye bye.